G'day guys, how are you? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can load an image from the internet into a picture box using Visual Basic. So let's get to it. This is just for a standard desktop application. So let's go to New Project and we'll let it open. And I'm just going to add Classic Desktop, Windows Form. I'm just going to write here, Picture Box, Picture Box 1, Internet Loader. How's that? Not the best name, but it'll do. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. So it's creating our project and it should open in a sec. Beautiful, so we've got our form one here. And yeah, so let's get to it. Let's go to the toolbox here and we're gonna search for a picture box, just like that. Double click on it. If you can't see your form, drag it to whatever size you'd like. So for this particular application, what I want to do is to give you a good understanding of it, I'm going to make the picture box this big and I'm going to add a text box. This will be our picture box's URL. Okay, so let's just put that there. And uh, what I'm also going to want to have in here is most probably a progress bar. This is so we can see how it's doing. And I want to have two buttons, one or, one or two. I'll just go two so I can show you guys some more things. So button one will be our live picture. And button two will be our clear the picture and our well that's it. So oops, spell load picture and oh god, one of those days. Clear picture. Alright, so now that we have that somewhat done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the load picture button and uh, I might also, before I do that, I might just put a timer box in here because I want the picture box here to start. So to do that, just just know if you didn't see what I did, double click, go to the timer, go to the properties and make sure it is enabled. That's it. That's all we need to see of that. Alright, so now I'm going to double click on the load picture. It's going to bring up this form here. So now I'm going to type in picture box one. Picture, oh, look at that, I spelled it right. Picture box one dot um, image location equals text box one dot text. So anything from the text box one, it's going to load the picture. Now, what I also want to do is um, if text box one dot text equals nothing, then message box dot show and we write please enter a valid picture URL yeah so let's get a little information information and let's give it a button and we'll make it a error message and it can be a error cool after that, the message box shows we want the text box to clear. Well, actually, no, because there's going to be nothing in there, so we won't have to do that. Um, Alright, else. I'm just going to put that up here. Great. And then we'll end the if. Cool, so that will get us started there. Then what we're going to do. So that's going to load the picture from the text box into this picture. I'm just going to give us a border too so we can see it's a uh, border style fixed. Great, so now it's got that line there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and size mode. I'm just going to call mm, zoom. Why not? Let's see what that looks like. It's probably wrong anyway, isn't it? See how it goes. You've got to play around this and pick the best one for you. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to the forum one. I'm going to go here to form on events and I'm going to go to load and I'm going to type in here progress bar one 
progress and progress progress by one dot high. We don't want to see it at the start. We only want to see it. I don't even want it there, like when the form loads. Cool. Now what we're going to do is um, we are going to go to the picture box one, just like that, and we're going to go down to where is it? I think it's all right. So load progress changed. We're going to go to this one. So what we're going to type in here to get started is we're going to type in. Uh, oh, what would I type in here? Shit. Progress by line dot increments equals one, I guess. Yeah. So this will get it to load. And we probably want the timer start. Timer one dot start. Just like that. Yeah, that'll do. Then once it's loaded, it's going to pop up with another message. Loading completed. Um. Progress bar one dot increments, so we're going to make it to a hundred because it's loaded, and we want the timer timer one to stop, just like that. Now theoretically, this should be everything that we need done. Oops, I don't know what I clicked on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the internet. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to Google. I'm just going to type in cars. And I'm going to go to Google Images. Uh, I'm just going to pick this dude. He looks pretty cool. So I'm going to right click on it and go copy image URL. So what this means is if I go here and, and put this image URL into my um, Google Chrome URL box, it's just going to pop up the image. So this is potentially what we want. So now if I go to my program and press F5, it's going to start up just like that. If I right click and paste my URL into there, or control V and press load box. There we have it. Now you might have noticed is that the um, my progress bar didn't show. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to load picture. I'm going to double click on it. And what we want it to do is we want to actually show the progress bar. So progress bar one dot show. And um, once the Oh no, sorry. That's in the loaded one, we don't want it there. In matter of fact, once it stops, we want the progress bar to hide. So in the loaded one, progress bar one dot hide. Hang on, load complete. Ah oh, yes. And in the loading, progress bar one dot show. So let's put my URL back in there loading page. I guess it's really fast, it's not much of an image, so there it is there. And um, as you notice, the clear box isn't doing anything, so let's program it to do something. So clear box, uh, we want to include the text box one, so text box one text equals nothing. Or you get literally pop in nothing. Um, picture box one dot image equals nothing. And well, we don't need to hide it, it's already been hidden. So let's get another picture. Something a bit bigger, maybe. Mm, bigger in size. Yeah, let's get this dude. He looks pretty cool. Copy image URL. And we we'll go back to our program. And so I'm going to right click and copy that URL in there. Loading picture. As you can see, it did begin, but because it was loaded, it, yeah. It's done really, really fast. I suppose the bigger the image, the um, longer it will take to load. Um, however, this isn't the case because it's loading really quickly. So now if I press clear box, uh, clear picture, there we have it. If I try and load a picture with the text box empty, I press load picture, please enter the valid picture URL, and yeah, so I'll put that in there. Load, and boom, there we have it. Okay guys, so if I now wanted to make um, the picture bigger. So what I mean by is if I start my program and make it full screen, as you can see here, it's still that small box from the last scale. So what we would have to do is we have to anchor our objects to make it go along the full screen. So I'll start by doing the top bar. So what I'm going to do here is go to anchor, and I want it to be the anchor to the top and the right side, but I don't want it to be anchored to the bottom. The picture box itself, well, I want it to anchor all all around because um 
is what I mainly want to look at. And as for these, the progress bar, the low picture and the clear picture, I just want those to be anchored to the bottom and the right. So now, if I start my program and make it full screen, as you can see, it's they're all now big. So if I right um, control V and load my picture, you can see now that the picture is now bigger. And so that's what it was before. And if I maximize it, then there we have it. And I can also drag it in any any way, shape or form, and uh, everything will just go with it. So yeah, so thanks again guys, if you like this video, please comment and subscribe for more of them, and I shall see you in the next one, bye bye.